And we're there. Some days are easier than others. <laughs> so clear your mat of cat toys and find your playlist. And at the studio, when we come to practice, we have such an opportunity to be separate, right? That's the beauty of the studio is it's providing a space for us to be um, really focused on what we're doing without the ordinary confusions or constraints of of our daily lives and um, this time together we're really I can tell you that I have uh, I have these new scratch marks up the middle of my mat because it's really sick and wonderful and I love it and now it seems it's also really great for putting your claws in and so our outside and our inside are meeting our practical Day-to-day -day selves are coming tight into contact with part of us that's hungry and thirsty for solitude and prayer and freedom and organization. And all of those are meeting. And so as you can, be as humorous, as generous, and as inclusive as you can. Let them wander over. Let them be here. Set them aside. Set them out. Wherever you need to go, whatever you need to change or get up and do and come back and do 20 minutes and then take a break and 20 minutes more, you are so welcome here. And the scratches in my mat are welcome here because it means we're getting on and we're getting at it and we're making it happen. And so this is how we begin. In the thick of our household, in the midst of the day, we create something so special. Palms together. Heart high. Check around. You got your Spotify playlist. You've got your strap or a scarf. You've got a blanket or a bolster to sit on. Heart high. Chin in. Wag your tail. Shake it out. Arrive. In the midst of it all, you will create what is absolutely here all the time. And still heart high. Om Namo. I bow to everything outside of me. Guiding me. Healing me. Holding me. Guru Dev Namo, I bow to everything inside of me. So holy. So hungry. Three times with me, inhale. Oh, Namo. Guru wonderful card beside us for this week. You can and you will. Come to stand. Hands on your hips, feet wide, steady and strong. Begin to swing your heels across the center line. One and then the other. So let yourself rock out a little bit, being a little uncertain, a little bit unsteady. Good, good. And then set your gaze on one point and begin to find the midline. Let your heart come up a little higher. Let your breathing come in. Exhale, 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 just for 10. 
Bring your focus to that point and let your breathing become so steady. Four, three, two, hands wide, feet wide, pause. Soft knees, right hand towards your left foot. Inhale up. Left hand, right foot. If you can't reach the floor, head to your shin or your knee. If you can't reach your shin or your knee, cross towards your hip. If you're doing this seated, hi, mama. Just fold one hand to the opposite side. And we're only working here to rinse through the abdomen. And begin to get a little mobility in the spine and a little bit of a fold in the hips. You can do it seated, you can do it standing. Open and close. Let your breath get bigger. For two. And for one. And bring it down. And bring right elbow to left knee. To exhale. Each one's an exhalation. Each one's an exhalation. Again and again. Finding that. And so the elbow to knee is emptying your breath. And reaching back out. Establishing your center. Three, two, one. Changing sides. Elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. For three. For two and for one. Hands on hips. Right knee up, out to the side, and tip of your toe behind you. Up, back in, and the heel. So rise up, roll out, tip of the toe. Up and out, tip of the heel. In and up. And then bring it. Change sides. Left knee up, out, tip of the toe. Up, around, tip of the heel. Without tipping your hips, without tipping your spine, you can bring your knee up and around one more time. Tip of the toe, bring it around. And stand tall. Add your strap. And your strap. So the strap goes behind you. So you're going to tip distance apart. Knees are soft. Tail goes back. Knees bend. Let your ribs fold forward. Let your hands come overhead. Again, great thing to do on a chair. Hands down. Sit down. Heart up tall. Exhale. Sit down. Inhale. Over. The hands can't go any further than the shoulders. Not trying to go overhead. Inhale. Exhale, we're sitting down. We're folding over. Sitting down. So if anything makes you go like, ah, as you fold, maybe a little softer. Maybe a little softer. Just go one more time. Folding over, hips up. And standing tall. Just starting to open the chest. Stand in the left. Good, good. Set your strap aside for now. You come to lie down on your back. Legs go out long, and then bend your left knee. Arms wide. Step your right foot a step wide to the right. And then on an exhale, bring it up. Good. 
So exhaling the heel over the hip. And if you're seated in a chair, you can simply lift the right knee and extend the leg and then bend the knee and put it back down. Again, you can do this seated, but let your right knee be a little bit wider so it's not directly in front of the hip. We're getting into a little action of the hip for one more time. And then draw your right knee in. Interlace your fingers over your shin. Keep it close. Left leg long. <sighs> Soften and release the tension of your right hip. Stand in your left heel. Open the left side. <sighs> Bending the left knee. Foot flat. Lift your heel and you're holding your, either your outer shin. You can hold the back of your knee or your outer foot and bring your right knee down towards the floor. Left hand on your left thigh, press away. For three. For two, press your right knee down, push your left heel down into the floor, let it be heavy. And letting go, right leg goes long, shake out your foot, shake out your knee. And then right foot flat. Draw your left knee in. Interlace your fingers over your shin. And keep it close. And then the right leg goes out so long. Flex both feet. Press into your right heel and extend, opening the back of your right knee, opening the front of your right hip. Let it change your breath. Bending your right knee, right foot flat. Let your left heel come up over your left knee. Hand behind your knee or your ankle or your outer foot and bring your left knee down. Right hand to your right side, press away. Imagine widening from hip to hip and lengthening from belly to pubis. Breath into the abdomen. Let your right heel be heavy. Let your neck, left knee be heavy. And then left leg goes out. Shake out the foot side to side, the knee up and down. And two knees in to roll yourself all the way up, widening your feet out to the side. It's a great time to hop onto your bolster or your blanket to get a little bit of height. And the heels go wide. Shake out your feet side to side. And your knees up and down. And begin to wash side to side. Up and over. <sighs> Inhaling up, exhaling down. If you need to, your knees are bent. If you need to, you're seated and your knees are as wide apart as they can be and your feet are flat on the floor and you're simply washing side to side. So good to open from the outer hip through the sides of your ribs. Up and over. <sighs> and then come right into the center. Fingertips, heart form. Heart form. Heart form. There we go. A little wide the tail. Reach into your feet. Draw your toes back. Lengthen. Lengthen. One more. So that when you rise back up, you're seated on your bolster, your legs cross, and your heart comes up high. We have a strong and steady base. So any adjustment you need, you start here. Let your heels be a little bit forward and a little bit of a circle and a little bit of room. And that is our means of really coming into center. So just double check that your playlist is starting up on antidote. And this is where the crease starts left hand behind your head. Knee soft, heart high, right hand wide. Put your thumb into your palm. Hold your fingers over your thumb. 
Now start with soft, bent elbow, and go reverse circle. In reverse circle. Close your eyes and find a long, even, deep breath. And with the elbow bent, it's a great modification, or you're working towards a straight arm. It doesn't need to be a large circle. It doesn't need to be a large circle. It's this simple circle right here. And everything about what we're doing this morning is melting down the place that says force is the only way forward. That if this felt good or if this felt easy, then it would mean that I was doing it wrong. And instead, we're going to change that story and make it so simple. Your kundalini energy is simply the energy within you that's available and capable of your greatest good. What if the story was my greatest good is so easy? How did it get so easy? Open the shoulder. Settle into that circle, long, deep breathing. The chest is broad. How can I take the work out? The force, the struggle. And instead, it becomes simple and tall and supportive. Right here. It's such a simple thing to do. Three. Two, one, letting go, right hand behind your head, left hand wide, thumb into your palm, fold your fingers over your thumb, reverse circle, reverse circle, close your eyes, sitting tall, that little technical finger, eyes closed, stay with it. But so much about this movement is about clearing out my perspective. How difficult am I making everything around me? How am I describing what surrounds me? How am I describing my experience? And then how is that description being lodged in my breath? So what if this was simply a quality of radiance that I was generating in my body? If you need to, you bend your elbow. What if it was a quality of learning? What if it was a quality of adjustment so that it was exactly right for you? What if it was a quality of kindness? And then you can explore it and stay in. That if it feels like punishment, we're going to build that into our day. You can do this. You can do this. And you can do it beautifully. Mm. We can respond so gracefully to our circumstance. But it just takes practice. Three. Good, good, good. Two. Sitting tall, two hands, bring it up. Lift your chin, inhale, three more. Heart up, chin in, stay tall. Three, two, chin up. Exhaling, the elbows come down, the hands come down. Effortless. Effortless. Feel. Roll the shoulders, let the legs out, shake out the feet, shake out the knees, and bring it back in. Palms face you. Let's get it moving. Let's sweep it out. Palms are sliding right down the front of your body as though you were brushing crumbs off of yourself without touching. And a little flick of the fingers, each one of those, exhale. Mm -hmm. 
Eyes closed into the smile. Let's start to build some good into the movement. They were sweeping away doubt. They were sweeping away a sensation of can't or won't or don't like, do like, and just finding a steady rhythm. Loosening through the backs of your arms, through the wrists, out the fingers. Exhale, 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 exhale. You can and you will. And it can support you and it will. And it can change you and it will. So simple, keep going. You're moving through boredom, you're moving through inertia, you're moving to a new state. Change your frequency. Exhale, out, out, out. If it's too big, make it smaller, smaller, smaller. Adjust it to you. Like you are coming in on a radio station, on a television channel. Find it, the place that's just right for you. And then find the quiet in it. Softer, softer, softer. Go. Creating the ability to do what you set out to do, to complete what you set out to do, you can. And you will. Three, two, and float high. The one, the one, the one, the shake. Breathe out. Hands wide. Palms up. Elbows bent to start. Just a. Flex of your wrists. Exhale. 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 Then, with the eyes closed and just the movement in the wrists, you can start to reach out. The arms straightening. The chest broadening. Exhale. You can, and you will. It's so simple. These are the words we need for right now. April is the bridge that will take us from what we knew to what we don't. We will build that bridge one day at a time. And each day we build, we build with it a state of mind. We can. And you will. Begin to a smile. It's right there. It's right in your fingertips. And you're just letting everything come up and come through. If it gets difficult, drop your hands, shake it out, come back and start with your elbows bent. You've got a month. Let's make this month the month that changes everything. The bridge to what we don't know can be so good. Pass, 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 pass. We are not alone. We're calling up great support from within ourselves, from the space around us. Go three. Three, two, and then pausing, elbows, hands. Stay tall, let your hands come down. Eyes closed, rest in what you've made. The upper back, the tops of the shoulders, the back of the neck, the chest, the arms, the hands, the fingertips. The throat, the mouth, 
All of that structure supports the space and the energy here, Vishuddha. A great purification of how we take things in and how we give things out. We have something to contribute, every one of us. Let it be of a higher frequency. We can. We will. Roll your shoulders. Shake it out. Come to stand. Feet widen. Hands widen. One hand a little down. One hand a little up. As though it was one piece. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Small, light, and quick. The center of your body does not move. That axis from the top of your head down to your seat is steady. You're moving through the hands. If you need to, you bend your elbows. Okay? Go here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out. With the arms straighten. Soften your shoulders. Open this. It is not a place to hold on. It is a place to flush out. It is a place to move through. It is a place to transform. Don't hold on. Each little drop of your hand is a little bit of ease, a little bit of relief. In, out, in, out. Close your eyes and become so steady. You can and you will. You can and you will, without forcing, like dancing. Change your perspective. You don't have to earn it, you don't have to win. You just open. Five, go, four, three, two, one. And shake it down. Gosh, palms open. Feeling the chest, the shoulders, the upper back, the arms, the hands, the back of the neck, the throat, the mouth. All of it bright. And come to sit. I am a wonderful person when things are going my way. That's not the place I need to work, hands wide. Elbows soft to start, palms open. The place I need to work when I'm challenged, when it's not the way I want. Open, eyes closed, deepen your breathing. Take what you've made, feel the quiet in the midst of the intensity. Soften the shoulders and let the intensity of the posture transform and become the intensity of the quiet. And let it hold you. You 
we can. We will. Things are so different. What's being asked of me is so different. But I can. And I will. And when I am willing, there is such a reward. Open the chest. I will. I will. I reach into my hands. I reach into my breath. I will. The place I thought I couldn't go, I can. The thing I cannot sustain, I will. Three, two, and the elbow is bent. And you bring it with you. Everything we're doing is rewiring what we understand to be who we are. I did not think I could. I did. And I can. Open and close your hands over your shoulders. Bring it up. Hands up high. Make fists. <laughs> Point your first finger up, firm arms. And then fist, middle finger. And then fist. And then ring finger and a fist and a pinky finger and a fist. So you're going one finger at a time, returning to closed hands. And as you reach into your fingertips, you're opening the length of your arms. Your shoulders are going down. You're moving, opening one finger at a time, move through one at a time, and back to a fist. And you're clearing from your fingertip through your hand, through your wrist all the way to the shoulder, all the way to the seat. Extend through the spine, go one more round. First, middle, ring, pinky, high, shake it down and come down onto your belly. So if you'd like to unfold your blanket and have a little extra padding, go there. That's fantastic. And then your belly down, hip down, rib down, walk your feet back and lengthen out through your legs. Put your hands flat right beside your rib cage. Walk it back, walk it back. And then palms down. You're resting on your ribs. Your gaze is right to the end of your mat and your elbows are in. Point your toes. Lightly lift your feet and then widen your feet apart. Exhale, bring them together. Inhale, open. Exhale, together. elbows together. Inhale, open. Each time you open your legs, straighten them a little more. Firm the body. Firm the legs and then keep it that way and bring your feet together. And as your feet come together, bring your elbows back, down the body and towards one another. So the whole back body gets so organized and strong and long. And go two. We're retraining our structure. And one, feet down, hands down, a little cobra. Walk thighs in. We find a whisper of hop. Feel the belly move, keep that, close the mouth, out the nose, rolling down, rolling up, rolling down. So keep rolling up and down, keep the pulse of that breath moving through you. Reach into your toes, keep your hips on the floor, keep your shoulder blades down your back. You're opening your chest, you're strengthening your legs, your feet a little closer together. Elbows back, collarbones broad, go one more time and then stay at that peak. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll your way down. Cross your forearms. Put your forehead down. Let your hips move. Bend your knees and let your feet move. Good. 
Good, good. And then hands and knees. Bring yourself up. Bring your knees down. Bring your knees together. Bring your inner feet together. Put your feet flat. As you bring your hips towards your heels, walk your hands out. Sit your seat back. Come onto your fingertips. So thighs around your calves and ribs around your thighs. Drop your head and deepen your breathing into the middle of your back and extend your spine from the middle of the spine up towards the head, from the middle of the spine down towards the seat. Holding your blanket twice. Give yourself that good upright seat. If you need to, hop on a chair or on a couch. Hands on thighs. Hands on thighs. So once you're settled, seat down, spine tall, right up, chin. You build sitali breath. So you put your tongue halfway out. And you roll your tongue into a tube. Okay? And then you breathe in through that tube and you go out through the nose. In through the tube. Out through the nose. Eyes closed, spine tall, smooth it out. Smooth it out. And notice if your chin is kicked up a little bit here. And lengthen the back of your neck. By lifting the back of your skull so slightly that the chin is quiet. If you can't roll your tongue into a tube, you put the tip of your tongue right behind your front teeth where they meet the palate of your mouth. Right? You breathe in and out through the sides of your cheeks. Again, back of the neck gets long, the heart comes up. We're cooling. With the tirade and the drama that can get going internally, is only one direction. When we can cool our emotions, we can hear again. Softening your face, continue the breath. Softening your emotions, allow a tenderness. Allow it to feel good. Allow yourself to rest in this change of pace.
and releasing any effort. Just pause, effortless breathing, effortless stillness. Our frequency changes. There is great good in our system and in ourselves. Ah, sir. Seven. So just from that quiet, start to move. Maybe you don't even open your. If you need to adjust your seat in any way, your feet in the middle of your blanket or your bolster. Move in a way that feels like a gift. Move in a way that feels like listening. Mm. In reverse. Two, we're getting a little bigger, a little looser, a little more steady. And up right. Just pause and be. Your hands make a little hook, like you were holding onto the edge of a door frame or a fence. And with that little hook, you're going to circle your arms forward. And each one is an exhalation. Back. Close your eyes, sit tall, and breathe. Up, up, up. You can turn your chin, move it side to side. All the ways we've been. All the places we've said no, not like that. We've made a persona. We're going to shake it out. All the stiffness in your upper back that you pay people to remove with their thumbs and their good skills. Shake it loose. We got to do it ourselves right now. Keep breathing it out. Keep giving it circulation, a little circle, little circles, and reverse. If you need to, stop, shake it out, and then come back in, and come back in. And notice, you want to run away, you want to stop, you want to click off, you want to check your email? That's fantastic. In a minute, in a minute, you can, and you will. But right now we're doing this. And we begin to see things through. We begin to move through the impulse that says, I don't like what's happening. I want to go back to the way that I know this is so strange and disruptive. You're just going to stay in the same strange and disruptive. And it's okay. It's okay. Keep shaking it up. Five, four, three, two, one. And sit tall. Ah, feel the sensation through your system of being without that tension. This is how we become limitless. It's how we evolve. We already know who we are in the defined box. 
what's racy, what's possible is what's outside of that box. Let's keep going, keep it going. Shake out your hands, extend your legs out. So legs go out long, hands go behind you. And just turn sideways so you can see, that's all. And with your hands behind you, a little bend, and then a little lift and set your hands and lift your heart. Your little shimmy, there's your base. Draw your left knee in and flat. Right and down, left and down, right and down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, ex, in. Use your nose. Now you might work right here. Or you begin to straighten your leg. Inhale, exhale. Whenever it gets to be too much, you bend your knee. You do what you can do. It's not about testing you. This is not a test. It's the opposite. It's about learning. It's about just going one today and two tomorrow and one the day after and three the day after. It's about building up who we know ourselves to be. It's not testing you. It doesn't care whether or not you get your feet up or down. But this is just available when you're ready. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's just so that a little at a time we can challenge ourselves. And in that challenge, we can soften and we can open and we can find that there's more. And we don't have to do what we know in the way that we know. We can do it a little bit differently. Ha! And become a little bit more of what we never knew. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And hands on your thighs. Shake it out. Shake it out. Perfect. Cross your legs. Sit tall. Last place to go. Bring it all the way up and out in three. So you're taking your strap and you're holding it behind you. Your strap is hip width, and it's so that when you fold forward and inhale up, you can add your arms and they can rise right over your shoulders no further. Inhale, chest broad. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chest broad. Now there's a temptation here to tuck your chin and to fold all rounded down. If so, widen your strap a little bit more. And if it's really changing your expression and you're like all squinched up, I want you to soften your face, find a hint of a smile. Beth Wallace, if you are watching this, you are softening right now. And you just find your fold. Even without moving your arms, you're gonna keep your chest broad and pulled down. If you have a space in your body, your hands rise up. And that's all that's asked of you, is to keep your heart open and your breath steady. Nothing more. You just do what's possible right now. You're opening your hips. You're opening your inner thighs. You're opening your chest and your spine. If it gets to be too much, again, keep your hands at your hips. If you're making progress, make your strap shorter. If you're making more progress, interlace your fingers. Hands overhead, brook if you're on it. Palms together, my love. Right? If you know where you're going, your shoulders are safe, palms touch. Heels of your hands touch. All of these are simple progressions because you've made space. Only work into your space. No one else's will serve you. Inhale. Exhale. One. Good. Four. Soften your face. Three. Two. One. Sitting up tall. 
Release your hands. Set them on your back. Eyes closed, be still, feel. Stay. It's coming. There is a wave that will move through you if you're quiet and still. The mouth and the face and the brain and the scalp. Any adjustment you need to your seat, set it up. Bring your hands in and your thumbs point out, and then your thumbs up. Bring the heels of your hands to touch, just in front of your chest. Thumbs point up, knuckles of your thumbs touch. Height of your heart, back of your neck long. And then the eyes close. The gaze is as if at the thumb knuckle. Right? The eyes lightly close. Settle. Seat down, heart up. Blowing through the nose. Out through the mouth. In the mouth. Out the nose, in the nose, out the mouth, soften, in the mouth, rise, out the nose, focus, in the nose, begin, out the mouth, soften, in the mouth, rise. Out the nose, focus. In the mouth. Out the mouth. In the mouth. Out the nose, slow it down. In the mouth. Out the mouth. In the mouth. Out the mouth. Your pace. Keep it going in the mouth. Out the mouth. Soften your shoulders, your face. In the mouth. Rise and expand. Out the nose, settle, focus. In the nose, begin. Out mouth. In nose. Out mouth. In mouth. Out nose. Continue on your own. Find the pattern. Out the mouth. In the mouth. Out 
and out. In the nose, one more round. In the mouth. Out the nose. Hands down. Normal breathing. Settle into the quiet of your mind. You could choose to stay here or unfold the legs and cross. The feet shake out, the legs shake out, the body flat to the Lay your blanket over you to God. First few breaths are large and full. And just stop. The breath comes to rest in the belly. Shoulders and the hands are soft. The back of the neck is long. The skin around your eyes is smooth. And the lips are soft. Into the smile. And you will this will guide us this week, this month, we can breathe it in. We will. Beginning to deepen your breathing. Take your hands in your hand. Reach out long. Walk your feet in. Knees bend. Your palms together. Lift your feet, grab the soles of your feet. Hands to shins. Ah! Breathe all the way up. Legs cross. Sweep wide apart from your Palms together, bring it in. 
l'inverse suivant. Exhale, bring it in. One more time. We go, we go, we go. Bring your thumbs to the center of your forehead. I am this. Sat down. Eight count, sat. Two count now. Inhale. Satnam. Satnam, I love I see myself. I'm a step. I see you. Keep coming. I will be here every day at noon, Monday through Friday. Every day at noon. And then Saturday, 9 30 vinyasa, it's a chance to really get into the body into a vinyasa flow that supports what we're doing, opening the chest, anchoring the seat, so that when you come back, Sunday, 8 a.m., and then again, noon through the week, the body is more and more receptive, more and more participating and working with us to make what we're making. This Kriya for victory is so essential right now, such a gift, such an opportunity to build the bridge to what we don't know. I will be here. Any information, if you just joined and you haven't ever done this before, there's a playlist that goes along with this. MarfaMcGalvin.com is my website. And hop on there, slash YouTube. We'll have the playlist, we'll have the links, everything you need. And uh, I will see you so soon. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to make a donation, it goes a long way right now. Everybody, you are my studio. You are my bridge and my support. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you.